Welcome to the Salt Strong Podcast, disrupting fishing entertainment as you know it. Prepare to laugh. Prepare to get to know fishing legends in a whole new and unfiltered way. And on occasion, you might even learn a thing or two about fishing. Here's your host, Joe Simons, like diamonds. How to know exactly how your year will end. Hi guys, Joe Simons here, another episode of Unchurched, and I'm going to be honest with you right up front, I have struggled a lot with this coronavirus and and all the things that have happened because of it, and and, and more importantly, my response and some of my mindset, and and I'm going to put some pretty big challenges out to you today, share with you some things that have completely really just transformed myself and, and just our family and our mentality and, uh, and even our wealth uh, here over the last 20 or so days. And, and let me start by explaining uh, just a, a question. And, and this is the question that I know pretty much instantly how your year will end, depending on how you answer it. And it starts off with you and me having a conversation. I ask you just, hey, how things going right now? And, and what you say next I'm telling you, what you say next is going to really determine how your year will end in terms of your feeling for abundance and fulfillment, happiness, wealth, etc. And in in the beginning of this whole thing, everyone was so down and there was so much fear. And and even though I I wanted to be positive and I had, you know, I picked out my word of the year. And and if you guys recall that episode where we talked about, you know, picking out your word and, and my word personally for our family was abundance. And, and all of a sudden, I, I kind of forgot about that word, and I didn't have the faith about that word anymore because all this stuff happened, and I had all these excuses. And even though I, I wanted to feel good, and I wanted to feel abundant, and, and I wanted to be happy and, and, and tell people things were great, I, I also kind of wanted to, to sulk with them a little bit. I didn't want them to think I was weird if I said, man, I am kicking butt and taking names right now. Things are amazing. This is the best time of my life. People were thought I was crazy, and so guess what I did instead? Someone would ask me how things going. Oh, yeah, man, it's tough. You know, my, my wife is essentially, you know, kind of lost her job. And, and if you guys don't know about my wife, I mean, she's a, she's a doctor, she's a physician, but because she's part-time, she has no salary. She only makes money if she's in there, you know, operating in, in you know, in a, in a surgery center and surgery centers completely closed down. So we've lost, you know, uh, really half of our income. It was just gone, wiped out. That's not fun. And, and so I would kind of harp on that. And, oh yeah, things are tough and the kids are at home. And, and the more I thought about it and, and the more I've been listening to, to videos every day and, and listening to a lot of Tony Robbins and some different pastors and, and substituting news every morning, cut and evening, I mean, in my whole life, I've cut out news completely and, and now focused on all this positive stuff, I realized the detriment I was causing myself and the detriment that all the people I've asked that same question to are causing themselves. And, and let me just be, be blunt with you. I believe that if you change that word, if let's just take my word here, the word abundance, I did change it. Like I, I stopped talking about it. I was like, oh man, this, you know, this is not going to be the year of abundance and lost our half of our income and all this stuff's happened. I made excuses. And you know what? That's a lack of faith on my part, right? I mean, if, if you're willing to change your goals or beliefs because of a stupid virus or, or anything, I, I don't mean to say stupid, but or anything, it could be someone getting cancer in your family. It could be you getting cancer. I've dealt with that personally. And if you change any of your beliefs, something that you put in stone, then I, I, ha- I think you need to relook at your faith. I think you need to relook at how much you really do believe in that word. I mean, the biggest part of faith is having that ability to believe and to know without a doubt that is going to happen and that God is going to take care of you, regardless if it's a virus or cancer or death in the family or any loss of a job, whatever might happen. Divorce, I mean, all these things are happening around us constantly. This virus is just one of many things I believe that God is throwing at us, possibly to test us. Have you, have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought maybe this is this is God testing us to see just how resilient you'll be? Maybe he's testing you right now, you listening right here today. Maybe he's testing you. Maybe he's wondering, you know what? I, I'm, I'm wondering if you know he or she is, is going to follow through with all these promises and all these big goals they wrote down in the beginning of the year. I'm wondering if they're going to follow through and really believe and have trust in me and faith in me. I really, I wonder if they're going to, if they're just going to trust me. Or are they going to give up and do what everyone else does and complain and moan and groan about all the bad things happening around and, oh, yeah, things are never going to get better? I'm telling you, the second you start doing that, 
I can predict exactly how your year will end, and it's not going to be good. Now, on the other hand, what I've decided to do is I'm going back to that word and I'm doubling down on it. I'm doubling down on that word abundance and I'm believing it. I write it down multiple times a day. As soon as I wake up in the morning, throughout the day, I'll just start writing it down. I'm now watching these videos just all about abundance and growth. And it has been crazy what has happened in my life in just the past couple of weeks of doing it. It didn't happen overnight. <laughs> you know, I, I think with any kind of faith or belief, it's it's usually not just a switch. It, it's it's consistency, right? I mean, it's that compound effect, if you know what that means. I mean, it's it's that you know doubling of the penny. Uh, if you guys know the whole story, uh, if someone asks you, hey, what would you rather have, $3 million cash today, right now, or I'll double a penny every day for 31 days. Now, 90% of people say 3 million because it sounds like a much bigger number because it is day one. But do you know how much a penny doubled for 31 days is? It's $10 million. And the same thing happens with faith. It starts off small and you start believing it and doubling down and doubling down, which is what I'm doing. And now I believe more than ever before. I actually believe it more than this virus hit that this is going to be my year and my family's year for abundance. And that all happened over the past three weeks. And now when people ask me how things are going, I tell them we are kicking butt and taking names. This is like the best time and most, most exciting times of my life. And, and I'm going to, in the podcast notes, I'm going to share this video that, that Tony Robbins talked about and it hit me so hard. And, and this was done way before this virus hit. This was done back in January of 2019. So this is a long time ago. And he was talking about people just going through a tough time, regardless if it's loss in the family or, or, or cancer or sickness, uh, divorce, whatever it might be, loss of a business, loss of a job. And he said, wealth is a decision. It's not a bank account. Wealth is a decision, not a bank account. And he says, you have the ability to decide right here, right now, if you are going to be happy. And he also went on to say, if you can't decide to be happy right here, right now, looking in your spouse's eyes, hanging out with your kids, being at home and being able to, to do things that maybe you've put off forever. If you can't decide to be happy, he even used the word ecstatic right now in the worst of times, it ain't going to get better down the road. And man, that hit me hard because I've been doing just the opposite. Maybe like you, I, I've been just kind of groveling and just kind of like moaning and groaning, oh man, and, and I'm feeling bad for my wife and, and she feels it too. And, and we decided we're going to take a different mindset. And, and, I, and I'm telling you, ever since we did, and doubling down on it every day, you have to have that firm belief. I now know that my year is going to end more abundant than it started. Even, with, even if this virus lasts the entire 2020, I know without a doubt how my year is going to end because I'm deciding to make it better. And, and I, I think something else he said in here is, is probably one of the best quotes in his entire video, and it's this. He said, it's not the conditions, it's your decisions. It's not the conditions, it's your decisions. I mean, if you only had a week to live, if someone told you right now, you have this virus, you are going to die, you have one week to live, would you keep the same mentality? Would you, would you keep the same negative attitude when someone calls you? Or would you try to be positive and enjoy the last seven days of your life? Why wait? I mean, why, why wait? So I, I'm telling you here today, and I just felt called to do this podcast just kind of last minute off the whim be, because I'm, every time I call someone, I'm singing around with, with all my friends and my own loved ones, even own family members who have that mindset when I ask them how things are going. and am like, oh man, it's horrible. You know, so-and-so just lost their job and uh, I know so-and-so is in the hospital right now and, and you know, so-and-so is uh, having a really tough time with the marriage and, and you know, drinking too much and all that. And, and I'll, I'm going to be very candid with you. I went down that path for a little while. Uh, my wife even had to call me out on it. I was, I mean, I was drinking five days a week. I wasn't every single night. I was taking Sunday and Monday off, but five days a week I was drinking. And I'm not talking heavy, but I have a glass of wine, maybe two beers. I'm still on my three drink max, but that was my excuse. That was my little crutch. Oh yeah. Well, Hey, it's this virus, man. Things are different. Everyone else is drinking. I'm going to do it too. Shame on me. I gained a few pounds. I, um, I could see just bags underneath my eyes. I could tell I, I wasn't the same. And I, and I knew deep down that was not what God was calling me to do. I knew deep down that this was not part of my abundant plan. And so I made a change. And now I've cut all that crap out. And I'm, I'm still having you know, some, some beers and, and wine on the, on the weekends. And, uh, and I, I don't 
fault you or even judge you if you have more than that. But I'm telling you, you might want to look in the mirror right now. I think this is a time more than ever before where we are going to be challenged with our faith. We are going to be challenged on how much we believe our life is going to get better. And you have the choice. Once again, wealth, abundance, happiness, it's all a decision, it, 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 right? I mean, how, how, how do you define wealth, right? Because someone who's a billionaire might say, that's not wealthy at all. It, you know, there's people that live on $2 a day in some of these islands, and they're the happiest people alive. They're just happy to be, they're just happy to have a life and to have health. So wealth, happiness, freedom, all this stuff, I mean, it's, it's clearly a decision, and your emotions, and your attitude, and finally, your belief and how you answer people daily, just those daily patterns, that's all compounding, by the way, that determines your year. I'm going to repeat that. So your emotions, how you're feeling, how you're talking about yourself, how you're talking about your day, how you're talking about your life, your attitude, your beliefs, and your faith are going to determine and define your year. That's it, guys. I wanted to leave you with that. It's, uh, it's made a massive, massive impact in my life. And I know because I was doing the exact opposite just three weeks ago when we were in kind of the midst of this. And ever since I changed, and ever since I just, just had pure faith, even though it was tough to believe in the very beginning, but just and writing it down, I'm telling you that is a massive, massive piece of it. Is every morning I write it down in a little journal. Sometimes I'll write it 15 times. I just believe, God, this is the year of abundance for me and my family. I write that stuff down, and I start believing it. And I start believing it more and more, and it starts compounding. And all of a sudden, I'm waking up with more energy, and I'm ready to just kick butt and take names. And I believe some big things are happening in my life, and I know big things are happening in your life if you'll believe it too, and change the mindset, change the belief, and start mastering your time. Stop filling your mind with crap. Turn off the news and start filling it with faith, start filling it with belief, start filling it with, with love, and go back to that word. If you, if you missed my episode on that, pick your word now. If you already have it, bring it back up. Resurrect that word and pile it on. You have to believe or it's not going to happen. You have to stop making excuses or it's not going to happen. I'm going to repeat this one last time because this is so important. It's not the conditions itch your decisions. Much love, guys. I'm praying for you. Hit me up if there's anything that you want me to pray over specifically. I would really love to hear from you. My personal email, joe at saltstrong.com, J-O-E at saltstrong.com. Otherwise, stay tuned to the next episode. Cause be sure to tell my soul.